It was the regular season finale Saturday afternoon over at Arkansas Monticello as the Bull Weevils faced off against their arch rivals in Southern Arkansas in the annual Battle for the Timberlands game. The Mule Riders came in riding a seven game win streak in the series and a lot riding on this one for both teams. Southern Arkansas still in the hunt to make the division two playoffs while Monticello needed just one win in order to be bowl eligible and also have their first winning season in 10 years. Pick things up in the second half with the Mule Riders leading 14 to nothing, but here comes the home team. First and goal from the two and the Bull Weevils decide to go to their big boy package. They hand the ball off to Stephen King and the big 285 pound defensive lineman out of McGee High School is able to break the plane to give Monticello within a score. Back come the Mule Riders. They would work it down to the red zone, facing third and goal. Quarterback Barrett Renner looking for Desmond Jones, but the ball gets dropped. They would settle for a 22-yard field goal from Wilkerson to make it a two-possession game. Same score at the start of the fourth. Monticello now looking to make it a three-point game as Cole Sears fires one to the back of the end zone to C.J. Parham, but the ball gets dropped at the last second incomplete. And now it was the Bull Weevils leaving some points on the board as they had to settle for a short field goal from Josh Marini to make it 17 to 10. Huge play now for Southern Arkansas. They were facing fourth and goal from UAM's one, but rather than kick the field goal to make it a two possession game, they decide to roll the dice and go for it. Renner on the keeper, but he gets hit immediately. They would have to call in the chain gang and the ref had to get an even closer look before making the ruling. And it was just short. We are headed the other way with eight minutes to go. Monticello now looking to make them pay for it. Sears back to pass and he throws a strike to DeAndre Washington for the game tying 47 yard touchdown. But hold on a minute. The Bull Weevils are called for a hold and it gets brought all the way back making it third and long. But how about this for a response? Sears finds Perrin for 45 yards, and just like that, they're back in the red zone. They would work it down to the two yard line with just over a minute to play in the ball game, and they go to their bag of tricks. Sears with the Tim Tebow-esque jump pass finds Oren Walsh, and we are tied up at 17s with 104 left to play. Southern Arkansas now looking to get a score to win this thing, but after two straight incompletions, they would have a seven yard catch across the middle and be forced to punt with 35 seconds left. Bull Weevils needing some chunk yards in a hurry to get within field goal range, and Sears was gonna make that happen. Sideline pass to Jeremy Hampton, and check out the adjustment right there by the Camden native as he comes up with a 32 yard pickup, and just like that, they're in field goal range. A couple more completions, work the ball down to the 16 with three seconds left, and then this, Josh Marini for the 34-yard field goal, bangs it through for the walk-off game winner. Monticello ends up taking a wild one, 20 to 17 in the final. It's unreal, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to describe. Uh, been at it for eight years now, and uh, to get a win like this tonight uh, against a really good football team, uh, our kids just showed a lot of guts. So very proud of them, proud of all our fans, friends, family, it's just awesome. Uh, but. Uh, Great foundation for us now, and so uh, looking forward to moving on, get to go to a bowl game now, so very exciting for our program. You know, I don't want to celebrate too early, so <laughs> I, I stood there for a little bit, and then when I saw for sure it was going, I, I decided to take off on him. I was excited, man. In Monticello, I'm Spencer Tillis, KTVE, NBC10 Sports.